I had a fire here at the Poplar Homestead, but we're okay, and Christmas supper was saved. We're going to talk about that story and a bunch of updates coming from you guys about what's happening out there at the stores, at your places of business. Lots of updates, lots of important information. Saving people money is huge here, and keeping people aware of what crises and food shortages are. Are developing. Let's jump right into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade, and uh, sometimes I entertain family from out of town, and that is what I was doing uh, yesterday. Uh, my brother and my brother, my sister-in-law, my parents uh, were here at my house, and uh, we're celebrating Christmas here at my house. My parents up from Florida, and my brother uh, in from uh, out in the Midwest, and everything like that. And we were cooking a a Christmas ham uh, here at the Poplar Residence, and one of the burners on the stove caught fire. Now, it's an electric stovetop, right? <laughs> electric stovetops aren't supposed to catch fire. And so there was a flame coming out of the, the surface there. Uh, now, we weren't in danger of, you know, the house bursting in flames. Now, I don't like electrical appliances on fire. That's, uh, that's generally not a good thing. So... Uh, we want to put this thing out, right? Uh, but uh, I have a giant fire extinguisher right next to my stove. And uh, I was uh, I was thinking about pulling that out. I, I thought about picking it up and it would put that thing out like that. Nobody's business, right? Just out cold. But that also might just uh, make a really big mess in the kitchen. And it might actually end Christmas supper. So... Uh, I thought about that, and then I was like, I don't want to do that. And then I remembered, I'm prepared for this. I walk over to the fire blanket, pull the fire blanket out, and throw the fire blanket over on top of the stove, right? And uh, it smothered the fire. I had to use a um, some kind of a, a lid to kind of cover up the burner a little more, to smother it a little more. Um, but we were prepared. We were prepared here, and I've advocated fire blankets on this channel multiple times. One, when you use your fire extinguisher, you're using up fire some of your fire extinguisher. If you use up your entire fire extinguisher, uh, most of those are going to be rather difficult to recharge. Uh, if this is a grid down situation, you ain't recharging that. You're you're just done with the fire extinguisher. I think you should have fire extinguishers for sure. But those are those are kind of like the atomic weapons of putting out fires, right? Fire blankets are your bread and butter. Uh, if you get something on fire, you need to have fire blankets so you can walk over, pull them out off the wall, and throw them onto the fire and smother the fire or buy yourself some time to, to get a fire extinguisher or to, to get out of the way or get people out that need to get out. We were able to get this fire uh, put out and under control, the uh, stove was saved, and Christmas was saved as well. So um, my, my challenge to you guys is, do you have fire blankets? Do you have something below fire? Well, you better have fire extinguishers, right? Those are life-saving devices. Below fire extinguisher, do you have um, something like a fire blanket or some other thing that you can use? If you have a grease fire in the kitchen, you better not be throwing water on that, right? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, a fire blanket is almost as good as a lid, right? If you got a pot or a pan that's on fire, get that lid on there, of course. Uh, if you can't do that, uh, getting a fire blanket on whatever the fire is will, will help put that out or at least control it. So um, I'm a huge advocate of fire blankets. I'm, I'm gonna put a link um, in the, the pinned comment down below for fire blankets. Um, and please, please do consider getting those and gifting those and such. Uh, I sold my brother and sister-in-law in on a fire blanket after seeing that. So uh, that, I, uh, and I, by sold, I, I gave them a fire blanket. They're not expensive. They're like seven bucks a piece, right? Seven bucks a piece for a lot of peace of mind and a lot of safety. All right, this is from Eternal. Um, I work as a contractor at the local Air Force base in Kansas and mask mandates have come back last week. We got mask mandates coming back to hospitals. We got them coming back to military bases. Friends, hopefully you're paying attention because here it comes again. Uh, Janine uh, says, uh, or Janine, 
Uh, a big fat thank you to your channel today. Thanks to the tip about live uh, Christmas trees at Lowe's being marked down by 50%. I went to one of their stores in Pennsylvania, Lehigh Valley, found one marked down from $65 down to $10. If it wasn't for your channel and the update about the markdown, we weren't going to have a tree this year. Thank you. More Christmases saved, friends. Uh, this is that's from information you guys provided me. I didn't know about the sale at Lowe's. You guys shared that with me. Please do keep your updates coming. Uh, just if you leave an update, just use the word update in any comment on this channel and give us some sort of geographical location if you can. Uh, this is from White. Update on immigration. I live 100 miles from the Mexico border in Arizona. The border patrol presence is incredible. I've never seen so many agents. They are hiding along uh, a major route like police do for a speed trap and pulling over a lot of cars to search. Questionable whether those are legal but um, or constitutional. I'd be much more upset if I was near the border, but then again, maybe I wouldn't be upset that they're, I don't know. It's, it's, it's such a mess. It's absolutely just a nightmare down there. And uh, please be praying for the Americans that live near the uh, the southern border. They're putting up with all sorts of government BS like you wouldn't believe. Border Patrol is catching people and then just releasing them. And it's just it's just giving them free rides and free stuff. Uh, just It's just ridiculous. Uh, this is from a viewer. While at Dollar Tree, I went, uh, I went to had... Uh, Valentine's Day and Easter de decor galore. So they had the decorations. They didn't have any over-the-counter medications. Uh, went to pick up some anti-diarrheal me medication, uh, some of the cough pills to carry in my glove compartment. They didn't have either of those and no aspirin, no cough syrup, no NyQuil or DayQuil or any of the uh, ibuprofen or any of the, the, the aspirin, that kind of stuff. Uh, the only item on the health shelves was isopropylene uh, isopropyl alcohol. My daughter-in-law works at Target and she said they have Imodium and it's generic form on back order. So where's all the medications? I don't know. Maybe it's at these camps down south where they're processing these millions of people that are coming across the border. I don't know. Maybe they're there. Absolutely nuts. Um, from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It's always been expensive to live here we are a tourist destination for the rich, mostly. Things have been really tough lately. Food is insane. Uh, heavy cream is $11.99. Rent is about $3,000 a month. Yikes. And everyone is moving off the Cape. We have a huge doctor, nurse, and dentist shortage. Uh, we have to uh, go to Boston to see a dentist. In Yarmouth, uh, Massachusetts, they kicked our veterans out of housing and put the criminals that crossed the border. Uh, thanks for, for your videos. You do important work. God bless you all. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas to you too, of course. Uh, Charles, or Charles, uh, Southern Vermont, local Walgreens doesn't have my insulin and unable to tell me when it might be available. <sighs> Insulin's kind of important, folks, right? You know that. You're not but how can how can we not have insulin, right? Like that, like that, that just boggles the mind. They don't have my insulin, and not only that, but they can't even tell me when it's going to be available. Called around, and the same story in the area. All they can offer is very expensive preloaded syringes, not covered by insurance. Pretty scary for a type one insulin dependent diabetic. Absolutely. Scary for anyone who cares about people who are, right? This is, like, what do you even do? Like, are we supposed to go make our own insulin or something like that? I'm not quite sure how to do that. Maybe someone will know and can share in the comments what we can even do about that. I know there's some there's some herbs and stuff like that that can naturally lower your, um, uh, some things and stuff like that. Blood sugar, mess with blood sugar a little bit. But, you know, that's not that's not the same as insulin, right? You need it. If you need it, you need it. But that's that's the kind of world that we're in right now. Uh, Sensei says, uh, my, or Sense, uh, my friend who serves and works for the Army told me that she has to fly out for 
special training. And they told her that America is going to war. Well, we certainly are sooner or later. And with the way this administration and um, some of the people running for, for office uh, want to make, uh, they want to make all sorts of new wars. They're all about it. Uh, you got that Nikki Haley out there who, uh, she's just, she's just dying to be the president of a country that is at war with everybody. Uh, I don't know how much she's getting paid in the, in the, in the pockets, uh, from, uh, from these war manufacturers, but, uh, it's, it's a lot. Uh, Zach says, Steve, I know you said you don't care how much TVs were, but Walmart had a 72 inch for $497, $487. I can remember those TVs going for around $2,000. Um, yeah, uh, I haven't bought a TV since forever. So I, I don't, I don't even know about that kind of stuff. I have a, I have a screen, I have a TV, uh, that was given to me because it was too big for them. And uh, I appreciate that, that I got that TV, um, from a friend and, uh, it hasn't burned out. So I'm just going to keep using it until it does. Um, you know, Zach continues, we believe cars will crash in the same way. Price is coming down. Deep discounts are coming. For me personally, I would rather stock food. Uh, we also see the rich building underground bunkers and there is reason for a dollar collapse. That's right. The dollars that you have are going to be worthless. And so you're going to see those uh, prices of TVs are going to go back past $2,000 for sure. Uh, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time when that happens. So uh, Phillips says, uh, I am on SSDI, which is a social security disability uh, income, right? Uh, I had and have worked part-time delivering pizzas for the past 15 years for uh, uh, PH. Wait, I'm not sure what, what that is. Uh, but uh, went into work one day, two months ago, uh, Pizza Hut probably, uh, two months ago, only to be told that it was the last day our store would be open. Uh, went to a different store, and now I have been told they are doing away with delivery drivers altogether. Door DoorDash will be doing all of the deliveries now. I work for a franchise um, and I believe that they are in trouble. Uh, Pizza Hut, probably. I mean, Pizza Hut's just, they're not what they used to be, right? They used to be something big. I mean, I used to go to Pizza Hut all the time when I was growing up. I haven't been to a Pizza Hut in years, years. Um, I don't get pizzas very many, much often anymore. Yeah, it, it, a lot of people just aren't eating out anymore, right? All right, friends, thanks so much for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you guys haven't gotten a fire blanket, there's a link down below in the pinned comment in the description. Please, please get some fire blankets for you. Get some fire blankets for other people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm putting an Amazon link on here, uh, but, uh, but you can get them at other places. They're not expensive. Uh, the ones I'm pointing out are like seven bucks a pop if you get like a four pack. And that means you can have a couple put around a strategic place in your home. And then you can also give them away to other people. These things are fiberglass, so you can put them right on the fire. It was sitting on the fire, and the fire just kept burning. But the blank was just taking it, and, uh, because they, they're, they're great for that. So uh, please do consider that. Uh, be safe out there. Make sure your fire smoke detectors are up to date. Make sure that your carbon monoxide detectors exist and everything like that. Uh, fire safety, friends. Uh, this time of the year is bad for that, and uh, hopefully you guys haven't suffered any casualties or any injuries or problems due to fires over Christmas, but please be thinking about that. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.